Okay, so you decided to start a podcast. Congratulations. I am stoked for you because that in itself can be a very daunting task and a big decision. And so I'm excited for you. Let's get started. I would say the next thing you have to think about is your topic, your theme. What is your podcast going to be about? There's so many podcasts and it can feel daunting to even put yourself out there. But I would say the more specific you can be, the better. Just like starting a YouTube channel, the more specific you are is going to draw those people that are specifically looking for what your podcast is about. My podcast, for example, is called the In My Head Podcast, and it is very specific to mental health and awareness and giving people resources for mental, physical health, emotional health. We have professionals on, we have therapists on, we've had doctors on that talk about all these different resources. So my goal when I started my podcast, in the beginning, my goal was for it to help one single person, someone to listen to it that it will give them some hope that's struggling in their life. And so I would say when you're starting your podcast out, ask yourself what you want out of it. If your goal is to grow the biggest fan base, the biggest audience you can and monetize it and get it up and off the ground so it become like a full-time job for you, I would say the more specific you can be the better. Now, there are so many topics of podcasts. It, you can be talking about mental health like we do. You can talk about uh, sports, politics, food. I would say if you're like a food blogger and you start talking about food and recipes, you are going to quickly get people that are interested in that. They just need to discover it, and then they are going to share it with other people that they know are interested in that. But if you are doing food and recipes and things like that, and then you start talking about sports or politics, you're probably going to lose some people because that's not what they came to your podcast for. Again, this is your podcast. If you are a sports and food blog and beauty tip podcast, I would say that is very... Um, different and awesome and go for it and don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Um, I have found that the more you can talk about what's important to you and what's your and what you are passionate about, then people are going to feel that in your podcast. They're going to come to it because they're going to tell that that's something you're interested in. It's when we start thinking too much about what our audience wants us to say or what wants us to talk about that our podcast kind of stops becoming unique. And so I would say, choose that topic that is very important to you, something you're well-versed in or you're passionate about and you want to know about. And as you talk about it on your podcast, people are going to be drawn to that. Your podcast will grow, your audience will grow, and they will come specifically for that theme. So think about your theme, think about your, t your topic, and most importantly, what is it that you want to get out of this podcast? and then make those decisions accordingly. So I'm excited to see what your podcast is about, what the topic is about, and to see your approach because there is no one size fits all for creating a podcast and moving forward with it. I just think you talk about something that's interesting to you and something you're passionate about and the listeners will come.